ETC, we start with one of our charts. Just I want to give a quick update. First of all, if you refer to my last analysis, since the price was within this correction, we mentioned we're looking for the reversal. That's why I mentioned if I get any trace out of a buy, I will take it. And this is what we get. And one thing I need to highlight here, it depends where the traders get the trade, right? But if anyone get the trade for buy, at least move their stop loss to break even. And for those traders, they get the trade from here relative to this move. The price tagged the 27%, which is the first target. And the second target as a 61% is somewhere around 48.8, all right, which is this one. This is for the short term within this move. They need to know how to manage it, all right? And what I can suggest is if they want to keep the trade, at least move their stop loss to break even. Anyway, because we have been looking for buy, no one to see whether we can look for continuation or not. Anyway, we move to daily chart. We want to see what we have been looking for. If we refer to our analysis, we have been looking for the reversal, but the only question was how we can look at this one and whether we can put this correction relative to this for flat for one more drop or not. Because as we can see, this is the only correction we get and the price retests the previous low. Now the thing is whether this is the only correction in relative to this and this is the start of the up move, or we can expect this one to a more complex correction. Anyway, we have been looking for buy, and the thing is, if we get any opportunity for buy, we take it and we're looking for the long-term trade, all right? The only question we mentioned, if the price is, if we get any trace at all for buy, is if it is not moving in our direction, we are not going to keep the trade for long-term. That's why we need for those traders, they get the trade for buy within this move, at least move their stop loss to break even, all right? Now, the question is, how high this one can go? First, based on a higher time frame, we're looking for breakout of 50.1, if there is a price break 50.1, the next one is really looking for is 52 following by 54. I'm sure if the price break the 54, then we return to this, the previous correction zone. Then mostly we can look for continuation. Why we have these levels? Because we can expect this one turn to a flat. And this correction can be more complex before we get one more drop and we get the reverse. So we need to be quite careful about this possibility. Or made this is the start of the reversal, which one we cannot confirm. Because if we want to put this correction in relative to this, as we explained, this is the only things on at this time we can we get, we got, and we cannot put this one in relative to this. That's why there is a possibility this one turned to it flat. Then technically we can put in relative to each other. In that case, we can get one more drop. That's why if we get any opportunity for buy, we take it, but we need to see the breakout of this levels. And mostly we want to see the breakout of 52 because if the price break the 52, mostly we can look for continuation because if we want to look for flat, the best things we prefer that the price doesn't break 52. It doesn't mean if the price break the 52, it, we cannot look at this one as a flat because we know we have a different type of the flat, but over what we prefer the price, what if the, the, the I mean, it couldn't break the 52, then we could, I mean, consider as a flat. If there is a breakout of the 52, then we look for continuation. This is what we prefer. That's why we have the to look after the breakout of the 52. We need to look at the 54 as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, we don't see any trace at all to look for buy. The only thing is we want to see how this correction behave. And again, if you get any opportunity for buy, still we are more interested to look for. Uh, at this stage, we want to see whether the price can break the previous top which is we consider, if we consider, I mean, the previous stop, which is 49.7, but what we prefer to see the breakout of 49, because if the price break the 49, we are not going to consider this one. Then the next level we're looking for is 55, 50.1. But as I mentioned, 48.8 is the target in relative to this correction. The only things I can highlight here, for those traders, they get the trade move, they're supposed to break even, and if we want to look for a trade, we need, if, I mean, we can look for continuation following by flag and depends where we get the flag. If the flag is below 50, 49, I think it's not a really good time. I'm, I mean, I don't suggest to look for buy at that time. We prefer to see the continuation. We see the breakout of 49. Then if we get a correction, we take the trade. Anyway, just to make it very simple, if we want to look for the next trade setup, we need to see, I mean, we need to get at least a flag before we take the trade. Simply, we cannot jump in, all right? Again, I need to highlight that. The reason is I'm highlighting all these things. Still, we can expect this one turn to a flat 
for one more drop before we get the reversal. All right. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.